Okay, we're with Phil X from the little Jersey band Bon Jovi. Phil, your first guitar, the one that resonated with you, the one where you knew there was soul in that instrument, it inspired you to do what you did. What was that instrument? Wow, that's really tricky. Because it's, it's, uh, I, never, I never realized that a guitar had mojo until later in life. And then, uh, and it took a really long time for me to pick up a guitar and go, oh my God, this speaks to me without me even playing it, you know? And that was way later in life, but there's, a, there's been a couple of times. There was a, a Gibson, a 64 Gibson SG Junior, white dog ear pickup. It had been refretted replace tuners so I started playing this thing and I just I, I lost myself in the guitar like before I knew it hey come on be, we gotta go it's been an hour I'm like what <laughs> it was like, I, like five minutes. it was like I, I left my body and I, I just oh. it was crazy an, an out of hollow body experience yes well I get that every time I do a finale of a show I kind of get abducted by aliens and, uh, like and, wa and watch like everybody else. I was watching you do a demo on Bo Diddley's guitar. Yeah. And you make things so funny, but at the same time so poignant. You know, yes. You, you feel the guitar. And this next book I'm doing is called Mortal and Immortal Guitars. So holding Bo Diddley's guitar and playing his guitar, how, how could you, how did it feel immortal? Like how did his music Im immortalize itself well, to you? He he inspired a lot of what happened to rock and roll, I think. And to be the guy that uh, that's holding the guitar of that of someone of that importance, you kind of feel. Uh, you, I, I mean, I'm looking for the word. I think the word is. I think the, I think the word is you feel. Um, what's the word? I'm, well, it's ethereal, and it's. It is, but I mean. And it's a simple word. It's just not on the tip of my tongue like I want it to be. But it's it's like you feel like not worthy. It's not that, but you know what I mean. It's, you, you feel, feel like awe, anything that I do on this hum humble, humble. That's the word I was looking for. It feels like no matter what I play on this guitar, it will not be enough. Even when you were wearing his vest. That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks so good on you. It was weird. You his wore guitar his vest? looks good on you too. I wore his vest. They go, hey, we got his guitar. Great. And his vest. What? Yeah, can you wear it? What? It was weird. But I was so, getting paid, so. so. Playing with Bon Jovi, I mean, his music has been around for so long. Iconic. And, uh, yeah. I, I, you know, I grew up in Canada listening to Bon Jovi a lot, and yeah. Um, and his music, you know, brings back memories, you know. So, so that that's the, what I mean, like, when you talk about music being played on a guitar yeah. and made on a, on a guitar yeah. and you hear that song and it's immortalized by that guitar. Well, like you're saying, like Living on a Prayer was a, a, a song of my youth. Right. So I've played it 200 times in front of millions of people now and uh, I still get goosebumps when the talk box kicks in. It's like, digga digga da, woo woo. It's like, because the, the audience whether you're on stage or in an audience, you'd never see an audience get as electric as when that moment occurs. Right. There's yeah. another thing too, like I wanna say like, when I was 11, I was in a Ted Nugent, and I was, uh, I was way into Double Life Gonzo. And I've played with, with Derek St. Holmes a few times. He so just every, walked by here a few minutes Every ago. time I play Stranglehold with Derek, I feel like I'm 11 again. <laughs> Dropping the needle on Double Live Gonzo. Because he still sounds the same. He's fantastic. I love that guy. He's a good friend, too. This all it points to that inanimate kind of mystical quality that the songs have, and that the instrument is the channel, is the vehicle for that. You're keeping, as you play these Bon Jovi songs as the decades go on, it's, it, well, you're, you're adding your voice to a chorus. Right, yeah. To this kind of ethereal chorus. Yes. You know. That's that's a good way to put Richie it. played it, to how you're interpreting it now. It is an interpretation. It's an interpretation. It is, yes. Well, thank you for coming yeah, by and saying you, hi to us. And thank you. Yeah, we love you, Phil X. We love you, man. Sounds like Sebastian. <laughs> I love you guys. 
Another Canadian. Right? Right. Another Canadian. Right.